You guys seem to really love the last thrifting challenge that we had where we decided that we were going to try to pay off our new car payment in one thrifting trip, meaning that we were going to try to get as much value of product as the new payment on our SUV. We were able to achieve that actually pretty quickly in just one store. I didn't even have to film all the stores for the whole video. So that was definitely a successful trip. I thought we would do another thrifting challenge today and something that's been on my mind are the rising food costs in everything. I don't know about you guys, but we have been really trying to budget all of our food costs because prices at the grocery store are absolutely insane. In today's video, I thought it would be a fun challenge to decide based on how much we get, what kind of dinner we are gonna have tonight. Wow, steak. <laughs> You think steak? <clears throat> yeah, All right. steak. I will challenge us today. If we can hit a certain dollar amount, we will get our favorite, which is Wagyu steak. The pricier cuts of meat. We usually only get those to celebrate things, but I feel like if we meet our goals, we should have a chance to celebrate. I feel like it's really important for you guys to make goals and to have prizes for yourself to keep you motivated. Wagyu steak is, is our prize. <laughs> <laughs> But we also have to decide what we're going to eat if we don't meet our goal and also what our goal should be. Hmm. I think we should eat ramen noodles. <laughs> That's like classic, super cheap. We'll eat ramen noodles, save some money, and they also taste good if we don't meet our goal. Our goal is going to be $300. <laughs> I say we up it. $500. <laughs> I think $500 is a good goal. I'd like to at least get $500 worth of product today. Hopefully we can achieve that at one thrift store again. So how many steaks do I get to buy if we get it in the first store? <laughs> <laughs> we only get two steaks. So obviously $500 is way, way more than what the steaks are actually going to cost, although they are kind of expensive. But if we meet our goal of getting that amount of product today in high sell through rate items, we're gonna get Wagyu steaks and we'll take you guys along for the journey. Let's go. Look at this. This is how sad the state of our grocery stores are. We're eating boiled eggs for breakfast. Listen, I know you already <laughs> shot the intro, but I, I actually do need more than one steak. <laughs> Seriously, I do. <laughs> Why do you need more than one? Because I'm eating like, a, I'm a big guy. I need my protein. I we, uh, we just started going, well, I started going to the gym more frequently. He goes like all the time, but recently we've been really hyper-focused on our health, which is really difficult when you're also trying to budget food costs. So we've been trying to eat a little bit more healthy, getting a lot of stuff from the farmer's market um, and just trying to eat whole foods, which is why we have eggs today. Um, I'll probably get a salad wherever we go out today, but yeah, just trying to be more more conscious of what we're picking up, but also keeping food budget in mind. Um, but this guy's got to have his protein intake because he's got to have those gains. <laughs> I'm ready. Four steaks for me. <laughs> oh, the efficiency. We both get a cart. <laughs> <laughs> no sign of a new rack. So I guess I'm just going to start over here and try to figure it out. All right. First up, we found this Beyond yoga little athletic crop top um, only reason i'm considering this because it is typically a lower sell through rate, even though some of the pieces can sell for a lot is because it's a size extra large what i'm going to do is price mine at 25 to make sure that it moves just came across this Maeve by Anthropology. It appears to be a newer label. It is a size small, but it has fruit print on it, which novelty prints like this for me and just about anything do well. So I'm gonna grab this one. I will do a comp search on the exact style, but regardless, because of the fruit print, I think I'll be able to get at least 25. Thank you. 
Okay, I had to wait to show you guys some of these because I had so many people around me, but I found a couple of Y2K tops. This one I'll use the keyword fairy sequins. That'll probably go for about 25 to 30. And then I found an absolute bolo in the Y2K category, which is a vintage Abercrombie and Fitch baby doll top. This should actually go for about $35, believe it or not. This is stuff I was passing up on most of the time and just recently started finding a ton of them these little tank tops $35 who would have thought <laughs> turn around all right somebody just came over and is trying on a shirt but it looks like you got a lot of goodies I did get a lot of goodies, are you gonna so. keep that shirt I might wear it a couple of times before I leave, so. it is by Robert Graham so I definitely think that would be worth getting all right, what else did you find? Uh, Y2K Ohio State shirt. No. Robert Barricat V-neck. That brand is, it has some nice stuff, but unless it's like a more substantial piece, I don't think performs well. You might, well, I guess it might be too big for you, but it is a really nice material. Probably gonna have to say no because of sell-through rate. Uh, I'll try it on. <laughs> then you're not gonna want this one, it's the same one. That has a big old stain on the sleeve. That adds character. So you put that in the listing too. You put adds character. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen listings like that? Where oh people, yeah. People were like, I think it makes it really cool. They put that in the description. <laughs> Todd Snyder. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised you don't want to keep that one. That seems like the style you've been wearing lately. That is a really good find. This is a high-end designer brand. You always find the best stuff. I know. <laughs> so, yes, all the buttons look like they're there. Very academia. Vintage button down billabong shirt. It's like a cloth material. Hmm. Oh, it's actually really cool. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Thought we'd want to. Interesting. Billabong can sometimes be good in vintage. This was, so, we'll hold that over to look it up. This was really cool. This is a, like a dead stock single stitch with the tag on it. AIDS shirt. AIDS shirt? AIDS. Like the, the disease. The AIDS epidemic? Oh no. Mm, that is kind of cool actually. Yeah. And you can tell that it's dead stock because it's got the tag and it's just really crisp. 1994. It's dated. Stacy Belzer. Yeah. I definitely think that'd be worth getting in general. I'll have to do some more research on that one. Cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Good find. The Crabby and Fitch button down. No. Come on, what? It is really cool, but the uh, men's stuff in general isn't performing as well as it used to unless it's vintage. Well, I might try this one on. I think you should. Here's new with tags, Tesla V-neck. I don't think that that actually performs very well, but we can look it up. This is a button-down Fabletics, men's Fabletics. It's like a... Terry cloth. Wash like... rag material. <laughs> yeah, only the men's um, bottoms in Fabletics perform well, so I'm gonna say no to that. Wow, this is a really cool design right here. It's a Zara. Men's? Men's, yeah. That is cool. I doubt we'll end up getting it just because um, I'm not as familiar with the Manzara stuff, but we can definitely look it up. I picked it up because it uh, gave me Aztec print vibes. Yeah. All these prints you got going on are confusing the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, assuming you won't want this one since you passed on the last Abercrombie and Fitch one. But... Probably not. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should like lens it or something. Maybe, You've got but you got me nervous. What I did do. I left all the American Eagle stuff that I wanted to grab. Even Good the job, Wayne. American Eagle, because I know that you. Well, if you find a vintage American Eagle men's hoodie, we could look at that. Yeah, I I did not find any of those. I told him he kept bringing me stuff, and I said, "No more American Eagle." <laughs> they want eight ninety nine for this. I didn't know. If I don't know what that is. Anything special? Some kind of Nike? Yeah, probably not. NBA jersey? I'd say no. What about a Lucky Brand Burnout tee? 
No, those not ones. You get it at the bins. Yeah, not unless they're at the bins. You about, grabbed a lot. Uh, little Lulu lemon. How do you find one every I told time? You, I'm like a truffle hound. Every single time he finds one. Yeah, that's definitely men's too. Okay, it's thank good you. Looking, good looking horseshoe, right? Mm -hmm. And we found another single stitch shirt. This is a vintage Wrangler white tee. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say this is from the 70s. What do you think? Well, yeah. yeah, maybe. It's probably not good, but we'll look it up. Well, it's good for somebody who's shooting a movie in the 70s and they need 70s wardrobe. Yeah, we'll check it out. All right, well, why don't you go try those on? There's a mirror right down there. There's no fitting room, so you have to just try it on over what you have. And I will look some of this stuff up. Yeah, I lensed it, but I cannot find, like, the exact style. The men's Abercrombie knit button-up shirts have, like, a 50% sell through rate. I do think it's very trendy, but I'm personally not going to risk it. Are you going to keep it? I'm going to keep it, yeah. It's very comfortable. Are you going to do the other one, too? Probably. All right. I want to call them like bowling shirts. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but it's like cotton material, very comfortable. Yeah, so knit, knit Cerberian. It's good for fall. Okay. All right, I'm continuing to go through things. I think a new rack's about to come out, so I might divert here in just a second. Um, but I did come across this Orle jacket. It has good indicators of quality, super thick down jacket, but I did comps and it's actually not performing well, so we're going to leave that one behind. There's that new rack. All right, the only thing we produce from the new rack is this men's Y2K kind of twofer shirt with the long sleeve underneath. Super Y2K with a graphic. It's by the brand Burnside. Not one I would memorize, but definitely this style. I should be able to get at least 25 bucks for this. Plus, we also found out that the new tag is actually blue. So I'm going to be looking for blue from here on out. I thought that it was, but that's just a great confirmation. across this Athleta newer label in a larger size and I went to check to see just how new it was which is a trick you guys can do and it had the exact style already right here which is a good sign a newer label I am going to go ahead and look this up and see um, but as you can see spring 2022 pretty recent so if you ever see the actual um, style name on an Athleta piece it's typically new. Unfortunately, this one does not have a great sell through, so we're going to leave that behind. I also found this Calvin Klein jeans, not typically a brand I get, but a really cool Y2K hoodie with a lot of the factors that I am looking for, and it's all over print. I'm going to get this, and I think it'll sell for 30 And uh, sorry I am talking so low, but I'm trying to be kind of stealthy because there's actually a lot of people in here, and there's also a lot of employees around. All right, I got kicked out of my aisle, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. Oh Lord, I'm about to run away from this situation. It's becoming too much. Um, so I found this mage. This is can, can be a really great brand. It's high retailing. This is a super thick floral hoodie. Not seeing a whole lot of great comps on eBay, but on Posh there are some good ones for about 35 to 40. Oh, I will uh, hold on to that. I also found this Barefoot Dreams plus size sweater. Barefoot Dreams in general is a decent brand to look for, but especially in the larger sizes can perform um, even better, higher sell three. And then I also found this gorgeous maybe. Joe could hold it up for me. Style based skirt. Beautiful, like deep dark purple with interesting iridescent details. It has a side slit somewhere. Here it is. Um, and it's just a vintage brand, doesn't really matter. But this is an awesome, awesome style based piece with the colorway that I think is going to perform really well. All right, I did some work into this mage hoodie. Again, definitely a brand, depending on what you have, I would look into. Um, there are some on Poshmark going for like anywhere from 25 to 40. Since it is so risky and it's not high enough return for me, I am going to sadly leave that behind. All right, we can't find any comps on like actual hoodies in this, but he found a really cool Vintage Jersey's MGM Studios with the lion right there, hoodie. It does have an oil spot, 
so we're gonna take that and try to get that out but really really cool piece um, like I said I have no idea what we can sell this for but I'm thinking I might list it for like 150 OBO found this vintage Y2K I'd, I've never heard of this brand before but it is a really cool like Y2K fairy top that I think will do well probably 25 bucks and then I gotta look this up because they want 25 for it but it is a Columbia long length teddy coat in a size extra large might be worth getting all right I cannot find the exact comps on this but I have a really good feeling about it even at $25 and it being Columbia um and I might also keep it myself so I think I'm gonna risk it and get it it's called the Pan Panorama um coat but it's the full length and that's what I can't seem to figure out a comp on uh, but really really nice quality so there are actually not great comps on it but this one is really unique vintage OP and it's just it's got some really cool details did you check it over for holes yeah there are no. i love the contrast buttons too so i think we're gonna risk it on it other vintage op stuff i've been getting has been doing well again kind of going against the comps on this one but i think we can sell this for 40. all right you guys i'm in the plus size tops i've got a couple that i think i'm gonna leave behind but i just wanted to show you what i considered getting this is kato would not recommend this brand i really love the smocking on this and that it has the darker leaf colors the reason i ended up leaving it behind was because it was short sleeve and i just think short sleeves are going really out of season unless it's an amazing brand which kato is not so i'm gonna leave that behind i also came across the rose and all of you guys know i love this brand for plus size normally i would pick it up but this is not a very substantial piece it's more like a t-shirt so that's why i'm gonna leave that one behind all right i have another style based piece this is just by marissa christina i wouldn't memorize that but beautiful rainbow open knit cardigan it is short sleeve but it is knit and again this rainbow detail is definitely a keyword i'm going to use and very on trend for the season i think i'm gonna list this one for around 35 to 40. <laughs> All right, Wayne, I am ready. We only got 17 items. Some really nice customer I was talking to handed this to me to see if I wanted it. And it is a beautiful free people top, but unfortunately um, it has a couple of stains on it. So I'm gonna put this one back, but always nice to make friends at the thrift store. Just waiting in line while some other people check out. But look at this really cool old Kool-Aid tin. I don't even know how old this thing is, but it is so cool. They actually have two of them. All right. Ready to rock you and got, roll. You got a new leather jacket? Yeah, I'm going to wear it while I eat my four steaks. <laughs> and then we got two bags. Lots of actually higher dollar stuff in this, which is awesome. Oh, we did pretty awesome in there. Joe actually found, as usual, the best stuff. Um, the to Todd Snyder polo was pretty awesome. That's going to go somewhere. I didn't even include it in the totals yet because I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's going to go anywhere from $50 to $150, but $50 minimum. Great sell-through rate on those. Um, I just have to check on the print. Some of the prints are a little bit more rare, and I didn't want to spend all the time in the thrift store doing that. Um, because you know we knew it was a good pickup and then i also didn't include the columbia jacket in the totals just because i don't know if i'm going to keep it but i think if i were to sell it i could expect somewhere close to a hundred dollars for that one so we'll see if i end up selling it but without those in the total we have already reached over six hundred dollars yes. <laughs> just at one thrift store and we are going to go to a couple more today but i'm going to end the video here we are very happy that we are going to <laughs> go get our steaks because <laughs> joe's really sad about eating ramen noodles with no protein <laughs> right. so wagyu steaks for dinner yes. <laughs> it's time to get our steaks <laughs> <laughs> Well, we normally get the New York strip. This one's huge, so that counts as two. 
All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Join us again for another thrifting challenge. We're gonna have to probably make these slightly harder next time because $500, $500 seems a little bit too easy to achieve. Maybe we'll have to double that to a thousand on the next thrifting wow. challenge. Let us know down below if you have a thrifting challenge for us. What should our prizes be that we reward ourselves with or that we don't get rewarded with if we don't meet those challenges? These have been fun. Really fun. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.